Channel 7 Sports with Jim Barry. And down at seven. Kelly completes for the touchdown. Yes, a nightmare that just won't go away. I'm Jay Heiler in for Jim Barry. January seems a long time ago, but no one at Dolphin Camp has forgotten that stinging playoff defeat to the Bills. A successful season came to an embarrassing end in the snow of Buffalo. Jim Kelly and Andre Reid shredded the Dolphin defense. Now, as the new season unfolds with the start of training camp, the message is loud and clear. The Finns must beat Buffalo in Buffalo. Well, it really gives your uh, training camp uh, a lot of purpose because uh, you know that uh, you're going to be tested early by the best. And, uh, they were the best in the AFC last year, and uh, we feel that uh, they're definitely, again, a team to beat this year. We just figure a way to beat Buffalo, and Buffalo, I think, would be all right. It was only as simple as Dan made it sound. Baseball now in the continuing saga of Alex Fernandez. I hate to say it, but Alex's stay in the big show might be put on hold one of these days. They were dropping in. From out of the sky to check on the action tonight, Alex was in trouble early and often, and it came at the hands of former Hurricane Greg Vaughn, a three-run blast in the bottom of the first, no less. Yes, Alex, I think you better stretch out the arm a little bit more, but it was the same story in the second. Paul Molitor with an RBI triple. Alex gave up five runs in just an inning and a third, but the White Sox have rallied. It's now 5-4. In the sixth. American League action tonight, Toronto over Texas 6-2. Detroit leading KC in the eighth, and Boston losing to Rick's Twins in the seventh. How about that March shot? Never one that turned out an autograph request. And how about that Barry Larkin, his 15th home run of the year? Gets out of the park in a hurry, but Barry Bond said, I see your solo shot, and raise you a three-run shot. Pirates scored four in the fifth on their way to beating the Reds. Other National League scores, Cubbies over Houston 5-2. Dodgers losing to the Expos in the ninth. Philadelphia in front of San Francisco. Atlanta over St. Louis. Mets have won nine in a row as they beat San Diego. And how about a plug for Mike Vex miracle up in Pompano. They split a pair with Clearwater. They're now 9-9 nine and nine for the second half of the season. Well, Michael Jordan isn't the only guy they're calling money in Chicago these days. John Paxson, he had the deadly jump shot, is now John Paxson. He of the deadly bank account. The Bulls guard signed a three-year deal plus an option for $1.3 million a season. Pax could have made more money with other teams, but he wanted to stay in Chicago. And you can't blame him. A Cinderella story is brewing on the PGA Tour. Bruce Fleischer, former pro at Williams Island in Westview, leads the New England Classic by three shots. Fleischer is 11 under after a 67 today. The thermometer read more like 97 in Texas for the U.S. Women's Open. They have plenty of heat and water there. Pat Bradley's the leading lady thanks to some nifty sand work. How about this shot? He closes it up, cozies it up nice and close. But then Pat stroked this putt just like Rick and I do every weekend. Yeah, a little too much lip. That's She's tied for the bogey. lead with Joan Pitcock. Pat Brad well, finally, can't figure out what to do this weekend? Never fear, old Jay has got just the right recipe. Forget about the Nessie plunge. Yes, this is the Jello plunge. If you prefer to go head first, hey, you can go head first. Right there, all that's required is a slide, a few boxes of gelatin, and a rather desperate need for entertainment. I think they it will be... a lot of money yeah, for the charity It was for involved. a good cause, and as you said, Zoe, we hope it's for a good cause. That was a little rather idiotic. Let's stick to the golf course, huh? I hope it's sugar-free. Yes. Jello, that is. Less filling. 